taking it slow you know this hey everyone and welcome back to another video i didn't realize i'd scheduled in to ed um to vlog today i was completely unprepared usually i give myself more time in the week to edit when that happens but um i totally didn't know that was a thing so um i just updated the calendar I very quickly did that little coffee intro so that there was an intro. Um, as you can see, I've showered this morning um, and it's just going to be another worky work day. Like I said, was completely unprepared for this so it's, it's a bit of a surprise to me that I'm suddenly vlogging today. But I'm vlogging three days in a row apparently so that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, there's nothing really to say. That's that's gonna be my day. But come along and see what happens, huh? Okay, so what I was just doing was researching a bunch of proposals some producers have sent to me. I looked through a few um, and there wasn't anything that stood out to me because I decided to go on air gigs as well as Sound Better because I just wasn't finding anyone on Sound Better. Um, but the guy that I found on Sound Better I talked about this in a different vlog, I can't remember what one, but it might have been yesterday, but in fact it probably was yesterday because I emailed him yesterday, it's just every day feels like a million years ago for some reason, but um, yeah, I messaged him, I emailed him because I found his Instagram, because I stalked him and found his Instagram, I'm good at that, and um, yeah, he had his email on there and I emailed him and he said, oh, I'm not active on Sound Better, but thanks for reaching out, you know, this is completely my ballpark. And he is the guy, he is the guy for this song. As long as he doesn't charge too much money, he is the guy. I really, I really want him to produce this song because I, just his stuff, like, uh, I don't know, I can't explain it. It's, it's, this beat's like, quite unique so I wouldn't even call it a beat it's not really a beat it's, it's an actual like you know cause there, there's a difference really between like a beat and a like fully produced like song that you just couldn't call a beat this is that really the song um or at least that's how it is now maybe by the time it's finished it won't sound like that I don't know anyway um but yeah I, I really want this guy basically to produce it and so I emailed him this morning back because he emailed me last night. Um, I would have been already getting ready for bed, that's why I didn't see it, but that's exciting. So hopefully I'll work with him. He just asked me what the budget was and I said, you know, this is how much I usually charge, but I've charged less, I've charged more. Not charged, paid. Um, I've paid less, paid more, so, you know, whatever. Just tell me. I didn't... I. I've talked about here how much I want him to produce a song. I didn't tell him that, you know, so I don't want him to overcharge me for my enthusiasm. But yeah, I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about this. I really want him to do it. So uh, that's that's the thing. So I looked at, I think, three producer proposals. There's nine that got sent to me on top. I don't know if it's on top of or including the guy I reached out to on air gigs. That's like my second choice in case Max didn't reply, his name's Max, the my, my number one producer guy, but um, Max did reply so that's good, hopefully hopefully all is well there. Um, but yeah, so I, I'd stop looking to the proposals because if Max can do it and he's within my budget then that just makes sense to use Max. Um, what else have I done? Oh, and I got an email from a, a cruise ship entertainment agency uh, called Lime Entertainment Agency, I think that's what they're called, uh, emailing me saying, uh, emailing me a bunch of uh, audio links to audition with, so that's exciting, hopefully I'll get into that agency, I, I'm gonna, I'll send them, I'll aim to send them the recordings before I go to Spain, but I want to talk to uh, my church about using the church to record them and practice because um, they're big belty songs and and I don't need to use all my like equipment so I don't have to do it here 
Um, what else has happened this morning? I think that's what's happened this morning. I showered. Did I tell you that? I probably told you that. I mean, it's obvious, right? My hair's wet. Um, yeah, and now I'm just thinking what to do because this is scheduled music time usually once I've done all the obvious things like messaging producers that I'm working with I look for jobs because the next thing after all the songs are produced is gonna be saving up to record them all right so that's important but um maybe I think it's because the entertainment agency e emailed me today and I was applying for entertainment jobs yesterday and I kind of realized that like I went for a job interview on Monday for a job at the Princess Trust which would be a great job but what if then because I apply for jobs at Haven what then if I get offered a job at Haven in like a month's time and I've been at that job for a month if I get the job I'm not saying I will we'll find out by tomorrow but Oh, so I'll be able to tell you if I got the job or not actually because I'm vlogging today and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I went for a job on Monday and if I get that and then I also get an entertainment job or I get booked for a cruise, then I'm leaving the job within a few months. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's, you know, it's a what if, it hasn't happened and um, obviously because but the big thing is it's obviously I take the entertainment job but entertainment jobs are temporary contracts usually like nine times out of ten is a temporary contract so I'll be in work for six months or 12 months and then I mean obviously if it's Haven I can just keep reapplying and I'm sure you know they'll give priority to existing entertainers if they're good so you know that'll be fine but if it's like a cruise and I leave a steal job to go cruising around the world for six months and then I can't get anything after that and it's kind of like uh, um not that that would come into fact that we'd have to take the job obviously but it would look really bad on my CV is kind of the point you know leaving a, a job at the Prince's Trust which is a company that you know is a good company I really like the company um I've benefited from the company as a young person so um yeah it's not it's not a place where I would want me to be like she left after two months we're not we're not giving her a job again you know so that's that's what's happening but um yeah it's all what ifs anyway I mean I don't even know what the likelihood of me getting into this agency is um I mean I know I'm good enough but it's whether they think I am you know so there we go um but yeah i think i'm going to look up some networking events because i haven't done that and i said i would because part of my uni thing is we have to say what our next steps were and one, one of them is like networking i should really look back at that project because it would probably help me because i have made some really good points i should definitely go look at that powerpoint but um yeah I'm, I'm going to look for networking events and try and see what I can do for my music career right now. Maybe I'll message Pete as well. Pete's my like um, mentor, my music industry mentor. I haven't talked to him in ages because I haven't had the money to, because you, you got to pay for, you know, consultancy sessions. So I haven't talked to him in a while, but maybe I'll message him, just catch up, see how he is. You know, because we are friends as well as, you know, business associates, so, yeah. Um, and he's done a lot for me and for the first album, so that's exciting. Yeah. But as soon as all these songs are recorded... Okay, so I lied, but as soon as all these songs are recorded, the first thing I'm saving towards is a consultancy, consultancy session with Pete and then for all the albums to be recorded, because I feel like I need that stepping stone. That'd be good, but yeah, I'm just chatting, chatting, chatting. As soon as Paddy's awake, I'll get dressed. But um, until then, I'm gonna do everything I said I was, was gonna do and stop talking to the camera for ten minutes. We don't want this to turn into the vlog a couple weeks ago where I was talking for twenty minutes about nothing. <laughs> okay, so I didn't find any music networking events, but I did find a few 
cool things um, going on around and about Birmingham for free. So, um, there's an open mic for poetry on Tuesday, so that'll be fun to go to, and also would get me out of the house. And then we have, there's actually um, some sort of, what's it called? Video, like, conference? Conference? Class? I don't know. It's for an hour. It's seven to eight today, so I'll tell you all about that, so that'd be fun. And then there's a careers fair in October, which I've signed up for. It sent me it twice, which makes me think I've applied for it twice. Confused. We'll double check that, but that's what I found. I'm finally dressed, just had a cosy morning in my pyjamas like I always do, but I'm wearing this new stuff I got from Shein, like literally like a few days ago. I did a haul yesterday if you want to go see that, it'll be the last video. But I got this Yes I'm Cold Me 24-7 jumper, which is super nice, it's super cosy and it looks cosy, it looks as cosy as it feels. So, and then I've also got a top on from Shein, but you can't see it but it's just this uh cute little woolly top it's quite cold it's long sleeve it's really cute i should have showed you before i put the jumper on but it's really cute as well um and then these jeans uh which i wore yesterday just some white leg jeans that i got from Shein. all this is the Shein haul um but yeah it's colder outside today than it usually is yes i'm cold <laughs> and um it's definitely getting more into autumn weather. Paddy made lunch today, you can tell, because <laughs> this is what it looks like when Paddy makes lunch, but um, we got some, just some veggie pasta. Mm. It's good, it's pesto pasta with some tomatoes. Um, I'm going to not heat this up, I'm just gonna eat it like this, put it in a bowl and get to watching. I really appreciate him making it because it means I don't have to and he didn't have to today because there was leftover lasagna that he took to work because he loves lasagna so I let him have it um, and yeah just that, that's it really Prescription pills and therapy talks Everything stills my life is dead along But I feel your hand close around Watching you sipping your wine like that Hey, it's a bit later. I'm just about to start novel writing. I've actually been looking at how long it would take to save to like buy a place and it's madness it's actually crazy um like years and years and years and years and years and years and years it's mental and that i did that doing like 50 percent of I did 50% minimum wage and then I did 50% of 50 grand just to like ballpark it even if you were putting away 50% of your money and you were earning 50 grand and um and oh yeah and the interest was 3.93 it would still take you two and a bit years to buy an apartment in London. I mean, that's like straight up by it, like no mortgage, but the thing is, is that I looked at mortgage rates in London, and um, like the nice areas in London, and oh my goodness, <laughs> they are so high, so, so high, like thousands a month kind of high, like, more than it would cost to rent and it's it's crazy so you want to put as much money down as possible it's just 
I just don't. It's mad. I've, I've, because I really, really want my own place so I can like decorate it and like not be limited to anything. But I also want to live in London. Like in the UK, I mean, like I want to live in London and it's how how does anyone do that if you're on 50 grand and it still takes you years to be able to buy a place like what that's crazy how does anyone buy property mad madness i don't know so maybe maybe buying a property is never gonna be in the cards for me but maybe it will it's just hard because there's so many things I want to do and how do I do them how do I do any of them I don't know I have no clue don't know but um I'm gonna do some writing now maybe that's a way I'm gonna do some writing and work on my novel I'm I want to I'm aiming to do three chapters a month so my arm's getting tired uh three chapters a month so three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty seven months it takes me seven months it's gonna take me seven months to write a book Do you know what? We're not. Th th it's gonna take seven months because you're not trying to make it your main income. That's why, okay? We're trying to manage expectations. The the problem is everything that I want to do is like long term. I was about to say long term success, but that doesn't make any sense. But you know what? Everything's set up for the long term, and it's like, what what do you do in the short term? You know, I need something to do now as well <laughs> as well as all this long term stuff that will happen will happen just don't know when it's just hard ugh we'll see we'll see see what happens hey 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 it's just time for dinner tonight's dinner is quiche and I'm also going to make blueberry crisp for dessert so Stay tuned for that. So, change of plan. The quiche needs to, the pastry needs to go in the fridge overnight. So, I've just made some tortilla chips and some guac. We don't have anything else for dinner, but uh, Paddy can have the pasta, and I'll just have this, and then I'll make the blueberry crisp afterwards. It wasn't exactly the most filling meal, but it was really nice, and it definitely satisfied my hunger, which was happening big time um i'm gonna make the blueberry crisp now if it's not too sugary maybe i'll eat a lot of it because your girl's hungry and yeah i'm just gonna eat that enjoy my time it's been a bit of a weird day i need to i just i really need to just get away and do something honestly that that is what I need right now. Just made the crisp, I'll show you in a second. I forgot to preheat the oven, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes before I put it in. And then I need to do my thumb to get on my laptop. Um, I am going to do that webinar thing I said, so I'll let you know how it goes and what it's about. I could really do with it right now. I've been feeling a bit lost today, to be honest. So. There we go. Gosh, I keep getting proposals for the Kanye West style beat that I talked about yesterday. It's crazy. I hope Max replies. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to join and then I'll let you know how it goes. So I'll share some slides. I will be here with you as well. Hi, I just finished the Zoom meeting. I've got my blueberry crumble. I haven't showed you actually, have I, what I made. I accidentally overcooked it a little bit. I left it in the oven. I was, what was I doing? I think I was finishing off the meeting and I was like, oh my gosh, the alarm went off. So this is the crumble. It looks super good. And I bet it tastes super good too. So I'm excited to eat that. I was supposed to novel right now, 
but honestly this whole vlogging today thing has thrown me right off that zoom was really good by the way i've actually booked in um a private one she is um offering a 30 minute free consultancy session so i put that in so you get to follow me along for that and i'll let you know how that goes but it's basically all about um like setting a goal and just like knowing that's going to happen sort of thing and and it's so true like i've been so overwhelmed lately and it's it's all because i keep my mind keeps going a million different directions and i keep i keep forgetting about the why and the what you know like this i'm <laughs> i'm doing youtube but oh gosh the whole the whole reason I started doing YouTube was to promote my music and to show me and my music journey and that was the point and I've lost sight of that and the same with the writing the novels I'm not going to do anymore tonight because because I feel like I just need to be more intentional with it you know and the whole reason I'm doing that is to support my music to have another creative outlet the blog that I was going to talk about on this, you know, I'm starting a blog that you can subscribe to, go subscribe to that on my website, but that is to support my music, to get to my goal, everything, you know, getting a job, it, none of it's about, I'm just, I'm just completely losing sight of the what and the why, and I, I need to re-center and refocus myself completely so i'm gonna spend the rest of the night manifesting and also i've been getting all these really like bad negative thoughts lately they need to go they're gone okay we're not i already knew this but she reminded me that your brain does not know the difference between reality and a thought like your um, conscious mind doesn't know the difference or subconscious mind doesn't know the difference it just focus it just knows feeling right so if you think about bad things it's things that bad things are happening to you and they're not no bad things are happening right now i just need to remember that and i need to look and move forward so i think the consultancy thing is going to be a good thing and I am excited as to what she has to say, nervous obviously, um, but I think it'll be good and it's only 30 minutes, so um, the worst thing that could happen is the whole thing turns into her trying to get me to buy something, <laughs> which is, you know, always possible, um, but, you know, I think that's the worst that could happen, um, is that she keeps sending me emails but we've dealt with Scientology, we can deal with this person if that happens, but that's not gonna happen, it's gonna be a good thing, and yeah, I just feel like everything's going well, everything is happening as it should, and I just need to, to trust that, and believe that, and feel that. Yes, I need to get back into my spiritual roots because I've never felt more happy than when I was with my um with my spiritual side. So I need to do that, and I need to take a step back in some ways and take a step forward in others. I need to do some switch reversals. So that's as we're watching Riverdale we're going to be thinking about and eating crumble and possibly uh, apple pie uh, we're going to be thinking about these things and manifesting good thoughts hey everyone it's much later as you can see i'm already for bed i hope you enjoyed this video um i'll be vlogging tomorrow too so definitely go check that video out when it's up and um yeah like subscribe for more and I'm going to Spain soon, so you'll be getting those vlogs. I love the travel vlog, but thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.
take a deep breath Watching you sip in your wine like that